welcome back. Today's an exciting one. How many of you out there always wondered one of these little electric log splitters? Can you actually make a forge press out of it? Like a little four or five ton. I got one. A buddy of mine picked it up for me. Um, paid 200 bucks for it. And I'm kind of in the process of converting it into a forge press. Now, bear in mind, this thing's not going to be used for massive billets of Damascus like you can do with a 25 ton log splitter or forge press or a 50 ton forge press. I'm more into, let's say, a billet this size um, and another one this size. Work it out, take that one, stack it on this one, cut, keep stacking, but keep it this size. Then the two uh, the dies that I'm going to use is also one flat die and one that you can draw out whatever piece you need to draw out. But everyone's always stressed about, will it work? Am I going to waste my money? Um, should I put money into this by turning that into uh, a forge press? Because will it work or not? So let me show you what I have and then I'll show you what I did. Um, the system that I built was, it's a proof of concept. You'll see what I mean. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. Now here it is on a close up. Four ton log splitter, splitting force four tons, weight 47 kgs, 1500 watts. 120 volts. So I don't know what brand this is but button on there and lever right there so as you can see there's nothing really you know special about this log splitter um, It splits logs like a log splitter should. Uh, and this is also green. So if you're thinking, well, it's too slow, it's not powerful enough, or oh, all that negative stuff, two seconds. Well, I'll be damned. Look at that. So, I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Um, I think it's pretty cool. Not too bad, eh? I also stressed out about, well, what if I screw it up and I don't have a log splitter anymore? Well, it's still a log splitter. You just take everything apart, put it away, and it's a log splitter again. Just like that. So this is now a brand new day. Um, this is probably the worst rig job I've ever done in my life, but it's a proof of concept. I need to do this so I can see if it will work or not. If this does work, which I think it will, I'll build something better. Because with these things, you need both your hands on the machine, one on the button, one on the lever. Now I can use my foot for the lever and mother hand for the button and then my other hand to stick the billet in there so this works actually really well okay it's my little forge um, this is extremely dirty coal um, this is raw raw coal so I'll bring you guys back when this thing's on and not smoking anymore and ready to forge weld. Okay guys, there's the billet. I used an old Nicholson file. There's, I used two of them, cut them up, cleaned that off. And uh, here's the first billet. The other one is still in my bucket with the uh, anti-grease formula there. 
bad welding blah 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 doesn't matter it is 12 layers pretty much and um, yeah let's see how this goes this is two and almost a half inches Okay, here we go. Okay, number two. I'm gonna put flux on this time. Definitely something I need to get used to, but looking good. Okay, well, number three. Sweet. Tap this with a hammer. Feel solid. Yeah, we can check it out after. I'm gonna do one more weld in the back here with this and then see what it does. Cool. Let's do it sideways like that and see what happens. Without a doubt, it is welded. Definitely. Ooh, wow. 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 Holy crap. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. Awesome. Okay, I just had to hammer it back into shape. It's nowhere near forge welding temperature, but wow, that thing went way too far. Like it squeezed the living crap out of it. Um, okay, I'm gonna flatten this out a little so we can clean it up and see how the weld went. Okay, here it is right now. I'm waiting for it to cool down. It's still a little. Ooh. A little hot see these steps here or sorry these steps over here this is what I've been trying to straighten out every time I bring it back to the anvil um, this 100% works I love it it's awesome it's definitely something that I need to get used to especially with that how this thing works is if you push that down see it kind of slips out of my foot there if you push it down and you hit that this moves okay I have now left the button it's not on but my foot is still engaging that see that stay close but as soon as I leave my foot that releases so getting that action into my brain that is something I need to get used to also these that hold these little um, what do you call it angle irons that holds in my my dies I need to get rid of this so I have more workspace that's like almost less of a quarter of an inch right there but yes it I am 100% sure that this works now you'll see on billet number two um, it went way smoother because I started to get into the whole foot pedal button pressing thing so um, yeah check it out went way better but power went out <laughs>
Does it work? Um, yes, it works for small little billets of Damascus this size. Um, I don't know how good it will be if you upgrade your billets a little wider, a little bigger billets. Um, on the size I had here, uh, it was uh, 12 layers and three of the layers were uh, Nicholson file. So it's only this high and or this high and that long. Um, it worked out beautifully. Um, I'll put in a part here of close up on these for you guys. So um, I'm gonna say yes, this works really well, and it will. It has cut my work in half, definitely. Um, is it worth it? Yes. In my opinion, yes. For what I needed for it, um, it will do the job. If you wanted to draw out steel, this thing's gonna be a champ in doing that. Um, build other dies. I'm going to build other uh, two dies to insert um, round ones so I can draw it out, um, whatever I need to, like these. Um, I'm 100% certain that it'll work really well. Like you, you could see the pushing power of this thing. It's only four tons. Um, if you want to go and make a bullet of Damascus this big, yes, 25 tons, 50 tons, 30 tons, whatever, you're going to need something like that. But if you want to make small little billets like this for knives or a ring or whatever, I know this is not jewelry steel, but pendants, whatever, this thing is perfect for it. Um, hands down, this thing's amazing for it. Um, it all just comes down to me getting starting to uh, try and figure out my foot and hand movements with button pressing and all that kind of stuff. Um, you'll see on the second billet, it went a little smoother on the second one because I started to get the feel for it. Um, it's just practice. So, yes, it works. It's not slow. Um, it's strong enough. It's not this, it's not that. It works. For this, it works beautifully. And to draw pieces of steel, it'll be beauty. It'll be a beauty. So, I hope you guys liked it. Um, hit the like button. The more likes I get, the more people see this video. Um, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. So, uh, okay, guys. Um, any ideas that you want me to try out with this thing, throw down in the comments section and I will try and figure it out for you guys. Okay, see ya.